Welcome to Mama Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be learning about how to use Element Grid Builder in the Visual Composer. Go to Visual Composer. Go to Grid Builder. You have an option to add new. Write the title of your grid. Click on Publish. These are the animations option which the Visual Composer provide for your grid. You can choose any of the option. I'll be using scale in option because it's quite easy to illustrate with the scale in option. Go to normal block. How you want your height to the width ratio. Click on 1 is to 1. I'm using 1 is to 1. You can use 4 is to 3 and 3 is to uh, 4. How your link should be. I want uh, that link should redirect to post link. Use the feature image on the background. When you add in a uh, post, it have a feature image option. You should add a feature image to get a feature image on your uh, preview or the grid. Next please click on save. Now go to hover uh, editing option, add link to post link, click on save, once you are on hover, click hover and the, these are the options where you want to add your icons after hover, what the feature you want from your grid after hovering, this is the normal brick when, when your mouse is not over the grid. These option, hover option is uh, activated when your mouse is on the uh, on a grid. You can choose uh, these three options. The, the, this option is like uh, your uh, icons will be on the top. Or if you are adding a post title, it will be on the top. If you want your post title to be on the middle, you can add here. If you want it to be below, you can add here. So uh, I'll be adding on the hover, I'll be adding some icons, so I want that icon to be on the middle. So click here, I want icon, you should redirect to post link, here is the option where you can choose your icon, I want to change this icon, click on this, type here search. I got a search option. This is the icon that I am using. You can choose the color of your uh, icon button. I choose violet. How your background shape should be of your icon. I want it to be outline rounded. Background color. How you want your background color. Uh, let it be like grey, size is to be normal, alignment to be in center, if you want you can animate it, click on save, now if you want you can see, click on preview, when you hover your mouse, here is the, here you will get an option of your icon, not coming here but once you add uh, to your uh, website that grid, it will show. Go to Builder, now go to Normal Block, uh, here also we have the same option, if you want your title to be on the top of the images, you can add here, if you want your title uh, or anything, uh, uh, um, including these options, you can add anything, uh, these, this is basically the image and here the features is outside the image, I want the post title. I want the title of that post and the author name and the excerpt uh, on that grid. So, first I'll write post title. Post title do uh, post link should be of H1. Text should be in the center. Click on C. Again click on this add button, you can choose any of these options, if you want you can add custom setting also, 
I need port post accept none element tag h5 to be in center click on save now you can add some custom fields also you can add author also I am the author if I am uh, starting a blog I should add author also because it to be F6, uh, it should be in the center and you can see. Now you can take the preview of that. Here is my post title and these options are very small uh, so that I can edit it now. Uh, go to grid builder, click on edit option. I want it to be H4, click on save. I want this to be H4. You can see now take a preview of that. Now we learn how to add a custom grid in our website, the grid that we have developed now. Go to your pages, click on this add option. You can choose a post grid op option or you can choose a machine uh, post machinery grid option. As you can see, there is a difference between the images as from the front view only you can see what is the difference between these two. I'll be explaining this in the next tutorial. Now I'll click on the post grid. What type of post you want? I want it to be a, uh, if you can add all of these, I want it to be a post number of items you want per uh, page so how how your loading page should be you can use any of these i want uh, to show everything here the grid element per row will be 3 and the gapping will 30 pixel you, you can use any of the animations now go to item design go to uh, this option and select your grid this is the grid that we have built now click on save option click on update now let's take a preview of this as you can see this is our image and inside image we have a search option when you hover and this is our title this is our excerpt and this is the author name thank you guys thanks for watching this tutorial if you have any question please comment below see you in the next tutorial